And uh, Tony Risley of Hobart, the first player to take the mark. The half back flank. Williamson from behind, but a good mark in front. Good mark there taken for uh, the Tigers by Risley. So Victor D. Headley Thompson. Back again. He's main. No, good mark taken. Good mark taken there by Headley Thompson. Tony Alderton. Kicks out towards half back flank. Rewalt. Oh, up and over the back. Good mark. Looks like Alderton who's taken it. Is the kick now. Hello, Negri. Move out. Also there, oh no, in front taking the mark, and a good mark too, is Carlo Negri. Brett Stevens. Set it out towards uh, centre half four. The kick dropping uh, short, but ah, oh, Stevens. Through, he's going, goal. Brett Stevens again. Stevens and Bonnie Wells. Stevens! Oh, what a mark! Great mark! Linton's had a look. Peter Rees. Now puts one high up into the air. Marquis. Rees, Rees going over the top of Marcus. He comes out. John Clue. Under the right foot, drives it back on towards the wing position. Clue in front, sporting with him. Oh, great one handed Mark Clue. Well tackled. Paul Cordo. It over to Leo. Leo drives it down across the half forward lines. Great. Oh, Cordo. Comes off nicely. Rick Shaw. Chance now. Booted in long. Looks like by Dean or Shane Dillon up towards full forward. And a great mark this time, pulled down by Rick Shaw. Picked up and hurried. Shane Gifford. The forward pocket again, flying high as Gifford. Ah! Oh, what a mark! Tony Martin. Right up into the teeth of goal. They go and mark it! Brett no Stevens. Take it out of the centre at the moment. McLeod can, though, and with strength. McLeod drives up to Stevens, getting up. Quarter, David Young. And Rick Hanlon. Forward line. Oh, great mark! Pulled down by Hanlon again. Glenn Goss. The ball holding up down towards. Uh, Oh, up a mile goes Goss. Great mark, Goss. A big kick. Wayne Fox. It'll make the goal square. All up. Oh, Wayne Fox. Back to Sporting. Chris Saunders. Play. Sporting was covered there by Negri. It may come off, though. Luckily, it does. A Sporting now drives it in. Harper and uh, Chris Saunders. Saunders, good mark. Both Murray Dixon. On their day. Oh, great mark. Wayne Fox kicks. It's a big kick. Michael Honeybell. Oh, it's the goal square. They all fly. And you don't think Mark. It's Honeybell. like Honeybell. Look at the handball again. Gary Davidson. Lamont. Lamont back to Cummins. Good football. It's in towards centre half forward. Davidson. Perry. And John Perry Thurley. Left footer up towards uh, the half forward line. Looking for Thurley. A look. Kicks. Up into Harold Bonniewell. Forward. They come out to meet it. Bonniewell. Towards the half forward. Place. Russell Noy. Bowden. Getting a few kicks. Gary Hinchin. Up towards centre half forward. Hinchin. Ah. Oh, one handed mark. There they are, gentlemen. The marks of the season. Uh, firstly to you, Mel Arnold. Well, a good lot of marks there. Um, I narrowed it down after a hard job to uh, three, Russell Noy, Gary Hinson or Glenn Goss. And uh, I finally settled on Glenn Goss, but it could have quite easily gone to the other two, but Glenn Goss. Could have gone a long way, sure. Uh, I thought there were some tremendous strong overhead marks taken. Uh, Cordo took a couple again this year. Shane Gifford, I thought uh, Brett Stevens certainly introduced some strong high marking into our competition this year. Mike Honeybull took a beautiful one in the goal square and uh, we saw that one three weeks ago, I think, of uh, Russell Noyes. Um, I would have thought that uh, the most spectacular one and the mark of the year would have been that of Glenn Goss and I only hope that in slow motion we've got it as, uh, as we actually did uh, can slow it down because it was certainly big, strong and um, quite sensational. Bob Cheek. Yes, we have got it in slow motion, I think, John, but I can't go past that one either. He was sitting right on the shoulders. OK, he got the run in, but there's plenty of people get the big run in and they go up high in the air and they don't bring the ball down with them, but it was, Goss was beautifully balanced and uh, it's pretty hard to compare that one with one like, say, Gary Hinchin in the grand final yesterday, that one-hander, which was a great mark, but I've got to go for Glenn Goss. Uh, he can really get up in the air and I think he deserves the award. Right, well, the mark of the year for season 1982, taken out by uh, Glenorchy's uh, Glenn Goss. Congratulations to you. You uh, now receive the uh, pull and chain uh, saw or the uh, brush uh, cutter. Uh, the selection is yours, but congratulations. Glenn Goss, winner of the 1982 mark of the year, and here it is. Holding up down towards... Uh... Oh, up a mile goes Goss. Great mark, Goss.